What's Ugh. good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, man? But all I was saying really was just like, don't wait till the last minute to repent. And make sure it's not just repentance. It also has to be genuine. You also have to have an understanding that you can't do it again. Like, if you're going to repent, be serious about it. Don't just do it as a, because I know I have to. Do it as a, I want to. I believe in God, and I want him to understand, and I want Jesus to understand that I am sorry, and I want to be forgiven for what I have done, the sins that I have committed. Even though he died for those sins, I still want forgiveness for it. That's all I was saying. Just don't wait to the last minute. But Eric is right. You can. Repentance is a key to get to heaven. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> we got a little interview. Because, shoot, we kind of heated right now. So, yeah, I don't know why. But, uh, we got Chase Mill. What's up? Say what's up. Yo, man? yo. What's up, B? It's your boy Chase Mill, y'all. How y'all doing today? We doing a little hot. A little, a little heated. Y'all a little little heated. Man, I see, man. <laughs> um, conversation was kind of heated, man. It, 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 it always happens, man. That's, that's, yes. that's what keeps it popping. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He, 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 he the compass. Everybody want their own signs. So like, you know, like, right, right, right. Everybody like, has a they, little... They well, I mean, yeah. Opinion is an opinion, but you know what I'm saying? If I can put in my little two cents, definitely, um, you can definitely repent at any time. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you've done. Um, God is the way. So, you know, repent as soon as possible. We never know what happens tomorrow. We never know what happens when we leave from work. So um, if you can repent as soon as possible, I feel it's the best way. Yes. Exactly, bro. Please, because you never know what's going to happen. Never know. That's why you don't need to wait the last leave, minute. Leave and work. Leave and <laughs> work. Pop. Leave and work. Whole oh. fuck. Whole <laughs> ground of fell. A piano drop out the sky. You never know what happened. Like, man. stay up. But I got to ask you, though, for real, for real, man. When did you start to... Because you, you up and coming rapper, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. when did you start to know that you had a gift? Um, probably, um, I know I'd probably going to college, you know what I'm saying? I'm back in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, um, a lot of distractions, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of distractions, a lot of stuff going on that distracts you from your goal and your talent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of earthly stuff. So, um, when I went to college, I got away from a lot of that stuff, you know, got around the right, the right people that mm -hmm. was doing music, that had studios, things like that. And, you know, they was in, we was in the studio, it was like, man, you know what I'm saying? We got a beat for you, man, you know? Just drop it down, cause I, I I used to always just freestyle. Always, I was always a freestyle. Like I'd just be playing, like in the class, get in trouble. Mm. You oh, yeah. freestyle, man. Yeah. I'm like, man, come on, man. I don't feel like it, man. You know what I'm saying? So I freestyle, talking about the teacher, everybody turned up. So, yeah. but um, I really got on it when I went, went to college. So that was around 2012. 2012. 2013. Yeah. Okay. So, so what was like your mind, your main priority? For college, cause you know not everybody want to go to college. Yeah. But what you was studying? Um, I was going for TV film. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what I wanted. Why'd do. you drop out? Uh, for real? Yeah, Wait, you dropped okay. it out too. You yeah. dropped out? No, um, yeah, I dropped out. Um, Bro, you gotta stay with that. Like, if you try to like, yeah, like that's that good knowledge. Like, yeah. that's a good program for what you're trying to do. Exactly, and right. and I wanted to follow my dad's footsteps. You know, my dad he um did film um filmmaking. He was on the movie um Hoodlum. With uh, Lawrence Fishburne, he did, oh. yeah, production for them, and um, I wanted to follow his footsteps, but you know, like I said, you know, God He's took me, person. yeah, God He's took me in a different time. whole direction, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's a blessing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have a whole another like, like, I feel like I should have like a whole uh, talk seminar about educational yeah. standpoint because That's not for nothing important. when I was in. Middle school and elementary school, I was in love with the fact of going to high school, walking across the stage, going straight to college, graduating, right. and making my mom proud. But right. sometimes, like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs and stuff yeah. like that, you don't necessarily have to go. And them people are the greatest. Exactly. Yeah, them is. people are the greatest. Are you know the what greatest, I'm saying? Yeah. They, they created the stuff that makes us not be passing school. Straight they they the reason we distract me. But I mean, they making money though. Yeah, yeah, and the they did not graduate. They did not graduate. Probably was the main kids in the class. Probably not showing up, you right. know, doing their homework class at all. Clowns. But the smartest ones that created the most educational standpoint. I I don't know. It's just I guess as the generations go, since it's so easy just to pick up your phone and learn yeah. everything from first to 12th grade by yourself, exactly. I don't think that you necessarily need education anymore because all you got to do is go on Google. Yeah. And then my teacher then told me, if you can search it up on Google, I don't need to tell you 
what the standards are. All I got to do is write the standards on the board. You look it up Ooh, on your phone right. and we got to test next week. <laughs> but then that's when I'm not understanding. Why are you a teacher if you can't teach us? He if you feel paid. like all you got to do is he put it on check. Google. He getting paid to sit there and watch y'all on your phone. Or something. Exactly. Like, that's the easy job. It's like school. teachers should have fun. With their kids, but they don't. Exactly. Because curriculum made by a dude that never taught a day in his life. Exactly. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, let's, go, let's get off of school because we get on. We, we school just, education. We don't like school. It bro. is important. It, it, is, it, it is important. It is important. At least graduate high school. That's yeah. all I gotta say. Yeah, if you graduate basics, high school, get the basics. Get the yeah. Get the basics, get the basics and then start your own business. You know? your own business. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you ain't going back to school. Oh uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I, I gotta go back to school, man. You know, so I probably won't go back for TV film, but. I probably go back for something like accounting, you know what I'm saying, business wise. Okay. Business, okay. basically. Yeah, get my business. I'm start, trying to get start your my own business. Exactly. So I gotta know some business, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm. that's what my mom did. She got her little associates and then kept going and then she went back to school yeah. and then got her bachelor's and master's. Right. That. Exactly. I mean, you don't stop at your associates. Do fine. If you could start a business at seven years old do without it. a diploma, do it. Because ain't nothing, yeah. nobody gonna stop you. Yeah, it's never too Everything early. is accepted now. Mm, that's so. real. That's real. Alright, so, so anything new that you're doing right now, like new songs, new. Yeah, man. Of things? Oh my God, we're doing a lot. Uh, you know, I've been busy. Um, you know, I've been doing my Any Word thing tour. It's just in Atlanta, it's a small thing right now. But we trying to um, do that. We're trying to go on tour um, at the end of uh, May. Mm. And uh, we're going to go on tour with that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hit different cities. Please um, look at my Instagram, Chase underscore Mill, for the updates on that. Um, then we're going on a Any Word tour. Um, we're trying to get sponsored by somebody, you know what I'm saying, Sprite, Adidas, or something like that, and take this on, go through any mall in okay. different cities, pass me Any Word, you know what I'm saying, hit yeah. these different cities, mm -hmm. and just um, get, you know what I'm saying, face-to-face um, -face with people, you know what I'm saying? I want direct contact with people, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, get to shake some people's hand, get them to smile, you know what I'm saying? I think that's the most important part of an artist for me. Mm -hmm. My definition of an artist is not the person that's all bougie and don't want to talk to the yeah, people. Because these are people that's they buying your it. album, getting the money, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah. So it's like, I, I, I owe something to y'all. So it's like when I go through malls and I try to stop for a second and talk to people, and you know, yeah. so especially kids and stuff, try to, try to talk to them and just holler at them for a second and get back to work. But, you know what I'm saying, we're trying to do that in different cities. Um, we got a um, mixtape, you know what I'm saying? We trying to drop a meal ticket. We, we getting this meal, um, this mixtape together, you know what I'm saying? So it can um, promote the album we trying to drop. So meal ticket is definitely, most of the songs are definitely in the link of my bio. Um, Chase underscore meal on my Instagram. It's an audio Mac. Um, you can um, definitely click the link of my bio. I got all my music in here. I got about 30 tracks. Dang. Good tracks in there, you know what I'm saying? And we got Summertime. Um, it's going to be on iTunes on the 10th. March 10th, so a couple days, man. Please get your summertime. Go to iTunes, Spotify, Shazam, um, YouTube Music, all the distributors, man. Um, you know, go on there and get your copy of Summertime. Okay, okay. okay. So, shout so. out to Fusion Photography. Fusion Photography. <laughs> we about to go on tour with Chase. Tour. It's about to be lit. Summertime. Shout out, May. She's definitely putting this together so we can go on tour. She's a blessing. I thank God for her. Thank you, you know what I'm saying? So we can get this tour rolling, man, get this name mm -hmm. out. You know what I'm saying? They only in Atlanta. <laughs> it ain't only in Atlanta, man. We got to take it, you know what I'm saying? Take this around the world, man. I don't know where y'all want us to go. Call us in and tell us where y'all want us to be. Call us in, man. Tell us where y'all want us to be, man. We'll come to your city, man. We're going to come to your mall. Turn out anywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come to your mall. Stay mall. We're going to your local mall. Oh, dear you. We're going to your local corner store. Chase Mill. We're going to turn it up. Stay low. So, Chase, tell us the different obstacles that you had to go through as becoming an up and coming artist in Atlanta. Oh, wow. Well, from Chicago to Atlanta. Yeah, millions. Um. I, I say the first one, I'm going to just uh, get out there is resilience, you know what I'm saying? I, I go through a lot of um, rejection on a daily basis, stopping random people and people looking at me like, who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? Walking off on me, but you know what I'm saying? Once you get past the, the rejection and start being resilient, um, you know, things start, op things start opening up for you, you know what I'm saying? More opportunities start coming because there's a lot of times where I've been on the corner of the five points and I've been rapping and 
the first the first 30 people pass me, no, nah, I want to hear it, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it. But that 31st person, you know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. always that person that, that listen, you almost make them cry, they all, yeah. you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a beautiful thing. So resilience is definitely one thing. Um, faith. Um, you know, I heard y'all talking about faith early, and that's a big thing, especially chasing your dream, you know what I'm saying, chasing what you want to do, because when you do what you want to do, everybody else is going to tell you not to do it, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that's just life, you know what I'm saying, because when you get on your path of, of what God wants you to do, the devil's going to come in any way, All I mean, the time. through your friends, through your parents, through your teachers, they're going to come, so it's like, when they start coming, if you got that feeling to do it, just do it, so, you know, I was in Chicago, and, um, you know, I was, I was going through a lot of stuff in Chicago, homelessness and things like that in Chicago. So I was like, man, you know, I got this talent. You know, everybody was telling me that I wasn't going to make it. Everybody told me that I wasn't going to do nothing. Everybody told me I wasn't going to be nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get away from that. You feel me? And, and when you get get into situations like that, it's time to leave. You know what I'm saying? Where every way you turn is negativity. Yeah. So I got up and, you know what I'm saying, I got up and left. You know what I'm saying? Just came to Atlanta. Didn't know nobody. I met a lot of people. I, I learned about little five points. Start doing things at little five points, then I, you know, what I'm saying expand to Linux Mall and things like that. But definitely the faith thing that was a big thing getting over because leaving a whole nother city, not knowing nobody, that's scary. You know what I'm saying? That's scary. You know, but if you know you got God with you, you know what I'm saying? Nothing can't stop you. You feel me? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I remember when I first came. They'll they'll tell you like when I first.